What's up Kitchen Table Wizards? What's up Deck Brewers from all over the world? We are back and today we will go Obscure Tribal. Today we will explore Pinocchio and the Frankensteins of Magic the Gathering. It's alive! Because today we will build a Golem deck. So when you hear the term golden, you might think of this guy. Nora, you also had this guy in mind, right? Seems like a funny guy. Definitely me material. And it's a great movie. Yes, yes, I know, right? No, no need to include him in this video. Ah, yeah, okay, okay, I get the joke, okay. Now we all agree that this guy has nothing to do with the subject of our video. Uh, well, maybe you didn't know it, but the word golem actually comes from a Jewish folklore. It's a little bit like Frankenstein or like Pinocchio, but in the Jewish folklore, there was a story about some rabbis that made a guy out of clay animated him to life to protect the village and serve the people. So before we jump into the deck, little shout out to our partner Card Market, the best place to find your clay statues in all over Europe. And these nice people of Card Market, they keep on throwing vouchers to me and I keep on throwing them to you. The only thing you need to do to be eligible for a voucher is subscribe to my channel, give the video a like if you enjoy my content and also tell me which deck you like to see battle against the golems in our next countlet. This deck is only 20 euros or 30 US dollars, so definitely worth it to be added to your casual deck collection. And if you're looking for some golems, you can find them at my card market as well. Uh, and I've also put all my favorite sellers of card market in the description below to help you find all the best places to buy your cards. Now, before we head into the golems, first we need to do something else. The basic lines. Exactly. Oh, what is this? Snowlands? Yes, indeed. We have 18 snowlands in the deck for a tiny snow sub team with our golems. And the art of them is by the friendly Dutchman Titus Lunter. For a little bit of mana fixing and some scrying, we also added three temples. And Dread Sanctuary is a land that can turn into a golem. And the band Panorama is also nice. It gives colorless mana right away and it can fetch us one of our snow covered basics. Flip cards are also included in this deck. I've chosen for a glass pool shore and one Balaget Sanctuary. Now let's have a look which golems would end up in this deck. The deck has four great one drop golems. Two ginger brutes and two ice hide golems are a great place on your first turn. This prismite likes all colors and will help you with your mana fixing. And of course we need to include the most popular golem in magic, the Solemn Simulacrum. Pattern Matcher is also a great include. It's a golem that searches for a card you already have in play. And because of this Pattern Matcher, I do play a few more multiples of each card than I used to, but we still keep it casual. Glass Dusk Hulk is a great card in the deck. It can cycle away when you don't need it and later it's often a win condition as it becomes an unblockable golem. I also included two meteor golems to deal with, well, just about anything. Another more expensive golem with a great enter the battlefield ability is this Maelstrom Colossus. It has a cascade effect. And if you've seen my Cascade combo deck over here, you know the Cascade ability can do some pretty crazy things. Now these are all the golems we played. Now we do 
play some more creatures, some masters that created our golems. And in Magic the Gathering they are called the Splicers. Let's start with this legendary Splicer called Ish Tekik. When he comes into play, like all Splicers, he brings along a golem. And he also makes himself and golem stronger when other artifacts die. In total I play 8 Splicers and 5 of them are white. Blade Splicer gives golems first strike and Master Splicer boosts all your golems. And of course they enter the battlefield with a golem. Our blue Splicer is called Wing Splicer. He brings along a golem and he gives all the other golems flying. I'm not really sure how he does that but he does it. We play two more creatures in the deck. The first one we already know it's in the deck. It's a mimic that can copy golems and splicers which are all great targets. And a little bit of an odd one maybe the Vesper Lark. He has 11 targets in the deck and he can even copy the Glasspool mimic as well. Now what else are we playing? Mana fixing and card draw for one mana with the snow team exist in the Arkham's Astrolabe. And Ghostly Flicker is a truly great card in the deck as it will have a lot of targets. 8 splicers, 11 creatures, 2 astrolabes and even 3 temples will give it a lot of value. On to some enchantments now with Tempered Steel to boost all our artifact creatures and elemental bond that will draw us some extra cards with the golems. On Thin Ice is our removal spell for one white mana which only needs a snowland to get rid of a creature. And if your opponent is playing artifacts or enchantments you don't want to see you can destroy them with a Sundering Growth and you can create another golem while you're at it. Mirror Mate can enter as a copy of an artifact or enchantment. And you'll have plenty of targets in your deck. A big sorcery is Masterful Replication. For 6 mana you can get 2 golems or you can have each artifact become for example a Glass Dusk Hulk. And if you manage then to play another artifact your whole team is unblockable. Which I know it's a little bit of a janky combo we have, it won't happen a lot, but when it does your victory will be sweeter. So this was the deck, now let's head into the power rankings. This deck will not win you a world championship, that I can promise you, but it's a very accessible and fun deck to play. And with the Ghostly Flicker it can definitely do some funky stuff. So for me it's flavorful, fun to play and therefore great value for money. The deck does better against other creature decks than against control or combo decks. So when you face a control player, just take your Berang Berang deck instead. And to end the video, we will of course announce the winner of the next card market voucher. Nora? This week's winner is Quintos de Hadazar. Congratulations, you can find the info in the description down below. So this was a tribute to Frankenstein, to Pinocchio, to the Golem of Magic the Gathering. Really enjoyed creating this deck and I also really look forward how the deck will do in our gauntlet, our little tournament series with this time 16 decks. But until then, stay safe and remember, always keep it casual. Bye!